Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the applications, advantages and limitations of spectrophotometer. The first application is quantitative analysis. Spectrophotometer is used for determining the concentration of a substance in a solution based on its absorbance at specific wavelength according to the Beer-Lambert's law. Next, qualitative analysis. Spectrophotometer is used for identifying the substances based on their unique absorption spectra. Next, kinetic studies. Spectrophotometer is used for measuring the rate of chemical reactions by monitoring changes in absorbance over time. In enzyme assay, spectrophotometer is used for quantifying enzyme activity by measuring the rate of substrate consumption or product formation. In protein analysis, spectrophotometer is used for determining protein concentration and protein purity. In DNA and RNA analysis, spectrophotometer is used for quantifying nucleic acids. In environmental analysis, spectrophotometer enables the analysis of pollutants such as heavy metals and organic compounds in environmental samples like water, soil and air. In the field of medicine, biology and biomedical research, spectrophotometry supports in DNA quantification, enzyme activity measurements and various diagnostic tests. In pharmaceutical analysis, spectrophotometers plays a crucial role in a pharmaceutical research by helping in drug stability studies, drug dissolution testing, and analysis of drug impurities. Finally, in quality control, spectrophotometric techniques are employed in numerous industries including food and beverages to ensure product quality and monitor the concentration of key components. Advantages of spectrophotometer The first advantage is high sensitivity and accuracy. The spectrophotometer provides precise measurement of substance concentrations even at very low levels and ensures reliable data for analytical purposes. The second advantage is non-destructive testing. The spectrophotometer preserves samples for further testing or analysis and allowing the samples to be reused for other experiments. The third one is versatility across applications. The spectrophotometer is suitable for diverse sample types including liquids, gases and solids and industries including biology, chemistry, environmental science and material science. The fourth advantage of spectrophotometer is fast and efficient. The spectrophotometer delivers rapid results and enabling real-time monitoring of chemical reactions or processes and saving time in research or quality control environments. The fifth advantage is quantitative analysis. The spectrophotometer directly correlates absorbance with concentration using the Beer-Lambert's law and making it essential for determining the amount of a substances in a sample. The final advantage is minimal sample preparation. Spectrophotometer requires little to no preparation and reducing the chance of errors and speeding of the analysis process. Limitations of spectrophotometer. The first limitation is limited to transparent samples. Spectrophotometers are primarily effective for transparent or translucent samples. Turbid, opaque or highly scattered samples like suspensions or emulsions can give inaccurate readings due to light scattering or absorption. The second limitation is interference from other substances. Contaminants or overlapping substances in a sample can absorb light at the same wavelength leading to incorrect results. This requires careful sample preparation and method selection. The third limitation is requires calibration and maintenance. Accurate results depend on frequent calibration with standard solutions and the spectrophotometer also requires regular maintenance to avoid errors due to dirt optics or 
fault components. The fourth limitation is narrow wavelength range. Most spectrophotometers cover a specific wavelength range and limiting their use to certain types of samples or analysis. The fifth limitation is limited detection of complex mixtures. Spectrophotometry is not ideal for analyzing complex mixtures without prior separation. As the instrument can't distinguish between different substances that absorb at similar wavelengths. The sixth limitation of the spectrophotometer is sample size requirement. Some spectrophotometers require a minimum sample volume, which can be problematic when only a small amount of sample is available for testing. The seventh limitation is dependent on clear solutions. Suspended particles or air bubbles in the sample can scatter light and causing inaccurate measurements. Therefore, sample clarity is critical for accuracy. The final and eighth limitation is low sensitivity for non-absorbing compounds. Spectrophotometers rely on the absorbance of light, so they are less effective for compounds that do not strongly absorb light at available wavelength. Dear viewers, that's all about the applications, advantages and limitations of spectrophotometer. Thank you for your support. Thank you.